you record it. So uh, I told you how to add the tab slide. So tab slides are simply, you know, if you add any option, like we added home page or some, what you will do is it's just a step-by-step -step process. What you will do, you will create a separate file for that Java file plus XML. In Java file, you can see, in Java file, I added this public view on create inflator class. So with the help of inflate, you are just, you know, linking this Java to fragment file where we have added this right now, it is view pager. Okay, and if you want mm -hmm. anything related to this wave page, you have to write all those methods here because this is linked to this. This activity main is linked to main activity. You can see here, set content view or layout activity main. So if you have to define anything in the activity main, so you have to define that here and also you need to define that here. As we have mm -hmm. fragment view home here and when we will run it, you will have home here. Now under home, we have nothing other courses, we have this. So it's home, home fragment. We have created a home fragment here file and it has been set to fragment home XML file. So whatever you write, you have to write it here. For example, now I want to add a text view so I can go to design. So I can go to text, text view, add it here, then go to code. So I have text view here. You can say, welcome to Online, online classes. classes. Seems pretty simple. Yeah, this is pretty simple, but I want you to, you know, make, uh, so what you can do is for this application, try to add one slider, okay? When you refresh it now, like image slider, mm -hmm. and then uh, beyond that, you can have app bar layout or something like that, you can see now. Welcome to online classes. We have set this as wrap content. We can say match pair. What was that? Match parent. Oh, sorry. M-A-T-C-H match parent. And here also match parent. Save it and refresh it again. Still, it's there. Welcome to online classes. Okay, so but there is, uh, you can change the width and height or to something else, and you will get the same text view here, which will come in the center, like what we had in these fragment registration. We have gravity center here. So we'll just get it here and add this property here, and it will show it in the center. You can see welcome to online classes courses. And now what I was telling now it's when you click on home. So this is not activity main XML while we have our main job. So we have a separate file for fragment home. So this is XML. This is Java here home fragment. So if you have to write the Java code, you have to write it here. If you have to write the XML code, we have to write it here. You so understand? repeating a pattern. Repeating yeah, this a pattern. Is a pattern. Yeah. So in the same way, now we are done with this fragment and suppose that oh, we have to go with registration. So this is registration XML file. If we're adding another text view here, we can say control C and control V over here. We say that there is another thing. So you can say, please email us on calls at botnet.com. Yeah, gmail.com. Suppose that you're working, you have your own company, so you can use that thing. So text view, and then we use the how, its own Java file, which is fragment registration. We have registration fragment. In here, we have given that our layout dot fragment registration, which is this. So mm -hmm. when you save it and run it, go to courses, you will see two files, gravity is center. We do not need to set the gravity as center. We just need to change it to left or center horizontal clip, clip, suppose say left. You can see, please email us on callus at gmail.com. 
Uh, mm -hmm. These things, if you want to properly manage them, you just need to show the padding and other attributes, which I have told you layout, what you want yeah. to be the layout and other things. That's a very simple thing. So this was about the app. Uh, you can say tab layout with frame layouts and creating separate files for each tab and adding the contents in each tab. Okay. Mm -hmm. So always whenever you create application, so that's we can start with tabs and then inside it we can go with more information. Okay. Yeah. Clear about it. Crystal. Right. So after it, what is our next topic? It's gonna be search view. To add a search view. So next topic is search, S-E-A-R-C-H, search, and say Android, S-E-A-R-C-H, search. Uh, is everybody here? Only three people are here. Michael and Zoe. Wait a sec, let me. Look now. Deal. I'm on my own is. Well, I don't know what has happened to Take that and then all right. Let me take that and then solve free. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, yep, now for the topic is search view, Android search view, and it's project A, so search view, the basic overview, the definition, so we can say control F5 for the definition. So it's going to provide, so it provides, this is another widget with that we can add in an Android application which is going to provide us user interface to search. So you must be having some application where you just uh, search information in the entire application. You understanding like you have Google application, Google Chrome, you have a search bar over there, or you have like Mazad uh, uh, or Qatar living application, you can search for the required things that you need. So if you wanted to add a search you know, field in an application, so you can say simply, uh, you can add it using the search view. So that's the interface, uh, which is, uh, it's a user interface to search, query submitted or service or over search provider. So search view, visit can be implemented or sorry not for it's over toolbar and action bar or inside a layout right so these are the things that you can have so search view is by default collapsible and set to be I quantified using set the methods that we can use a set I quantified by default true method of search view class and also for making search field visible search view uses set iconic or set I quantified by default false method so true method and false method are used in you know um, this uh, widget which is search view 
So simply we can say methods of SEA or CH search view. First is it's public. Uh, we can say Boolean or Boolean on query text submit string under the methods so or these are under the methods if you have to talk about strings query that's so it's going to search the query on the submission of content or search view editor it is case dependent second method is public boolean on query text change txt text change and string new text string new text These are two methods which we are using in search view and apart from that we are using uh, another two methods like set iconified by default true and also set iconified by default false. Now let's take an example of it and show you how we can implement the search view in an Android application. So first you have to create a new project. Get a new new project with the name Android S E A R C H S E A R C H search view. Then we need to modify activity main dot XML file. You need to modify the, or you need to add the code in main activity dot Java file. And that's it. So these are the two files we have to modify and we'll get the result. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, and then you have to run the application. So I'm creating a new project Amputy activity next. I'm going to name it as Android S E A R C H search view. You can use legacy Android support libraries, which is very important. Also, sometimes we need to have them, so it is good to add them before we go ahead. I'll close this project, I will disconnect it from the emulator. We have the project here and we have the main files here. Maximize it. And first of all, I'm going to move to activity main.xml. Here I am going to choose the layout, uh, which is basically relative. So relative layout, because in relative layout, we used to have additional properties, additional, you know, uh, attributes which are more than the constant layout. So first of all, I'm gonna add a list view attribute and match parent will be the layout width and height will be also match parent. And also we'll add Android ID. It's not necessary that you should add Android ID first, so you can add it anywhere. So, so it's list view LV first. So we can say Android Android divider, sorry. Android divider is gonna divide it and I'm gonna choose hashtag 85. And Android divider light or divider height, sorry, not light, divider height. So divider height should be 10, 2DP. And then Android Layout blow. Layout blow and it's gonna be 
at the right id search give that's it i'm going to close this particular tab here is something wrong no because we have not added the search below so we need to add it search view so now we are going to add the search view. when you add s when you click on s you will have search view s e a r search view is here and then width is wrap content we can say and height is also wrap content and then first of all i would like to add id so that we can remove the error which is showing in the first widget at the right so we have to add the id which is s-e-a-r ch search view now you will see the error has been removed from the first widget then android query hint we can add android Mm. Query hint, we can say search here. Then Android iconified or iconified default i icon iconified by default attribute, and it should be false as I've told you. These are the attributes basically, and then. Android layout align pattern top true that's it that's about this file and now whatever the things that we have to do or modify we have to modify them in the main activity java file so first of all let's move ahead and create the variables so we are using search view so search view i'm going to define the uh, search view object or you can say variable and list view i'm using so list view and list view is a variable or you can say object so list view here then i am going to store it all in array list so i will create an array list string all right so array adopter again i'm going to define one more variable and it should be of type string and I will name that adopter. That's it. So these are four different variables or objects that we have created. Activity main and now it's time to store everything in them. Search view is equal to basically it's a search view. So I'm gonna use search view to link it to the exact button or widget that we do have in our XML file. So find view by ID, we can say r dot id dot. What is the name of the view? It's search view ID, that's ID name, search view. Here it's S capital, this search view. And after that, we defined a variable list view. So in it, I am going to define or store list view, find view by ID or dot ID dot. You can say LV1, I guess I have used LV1 as an ID to this widget, that's it. And I'm gonna use list is equal to new array list. List add. So we can say, what do you want to add in this? Suppose that I want to add starting from arrays. So what do you want? All the courses starting from MS Office.
this is the method I'm going to use now. So, oh, sorry, control Z. MS Office, C Programming. SQL HTML5 CSS3 JavaScript uh, JavaScript and after that what else Java Java, 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 and what else? And then SQL. after that, uh, uh huh. SQL. SQL is already there. Oh. Um, yep. So I can say XML. Yes. XML okay. and then. Mm -hmm. Object oriented. No. Oops. Programming. We can say that. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another one can we add is, for example, there are a lot of courses you can keep on adding, so all the things will be stored in Android app development. Okay. So, after that, what I'm going to do is what's happening? So they're all inside the list. So list.add. Then next thing is I'm going to use adopter dot new adopter. Okay, sorry, sorry. Equals to new array adopter. And inside it, it's string here because I have store all strings there. And then inside it, I'm going to use this dot, mm, not dot, comma, Android. dot r dot what happened layout dot simple Underscore list this. item first and so it works the say, same way as the spinners and the yes, autocomplete no, text yep, here exactly so then list view dot set adopter, Adap adopter. adopter exactly so set view as adopter and then we'll use search view now so search view dot set uh, query text listener set oh sorry dot set on, on query text, query text, listener. text listener, listener which is here on query text listener correct yeah, and then we'll use new, new search view search view dot on query text listener, the, right? The, the first, first one. one. It will automatically create. It will return false here. Okay, string query false. There are two methods it has created on create text submit, as I've told you, on create text change. So here in the first one, public boolean on query text string. It's returning false. But what we have to do apart from it, we are going to check the condition. If list dot contains query, if it's going to contain the query, then we'll say adopter dot contain, oh sorry, adopter dot get filter. Get filter dot filter query that's it or else we can say toast give the notification with the help of toast make text 
main activity uh -huh, dot this comma no match found comma toast length tost dot length long show not show not show not show show that's it and return false otherwise here we do not need to do anything return false should adopt a get filter you can use here this also but let it be for co in comments for now you can use adopter dot get filter dot filter new text that's it if it's possible for you that's it and with this we are good to go we added the list view search view we added the required methods and we added the required things or you can say terms that we can search for as a time to run the project and check the output or check the results uh, hopefully think that's gonna work you can see here these are just what helping words array listers ms office say programming you know you got them i aided them but here if you think suppose i'm just going to search with c programming so c prog or you can say i'm just going with oops you can see it's gonna come here all right in the same way i want to search for java and match not found this is case sensitive i guess i ate a java right java is not there I added Java four caps. Yep, it's JavaScript and Java. Okay. Any other, for example, I added uh, XML. You can see XML. Oops. You can see these are all the activities. So with this, we have completed search view also and you will get the things if you're not able to do anything if you're not you'll suppose that i will say google which is not aided you will say match not found as a toast here the notification got it yeah all clear so this was about the search view i think it's enough for today i have to start one more class just after some time and in the next class what we have to do so uh, what's the next topic? Search view on toolbar. Yeah, and search view on toolbar text. now. This was search view on layout, okay? And now search view on toolbar and edit text with text watcher. And then we'll go to activity and intents, then Android fragments, menu, service, allow manager, storage, SQLite, XML, JSON, Android multimedia, telephony, device, camera, tutorials. A lot of things are still there. Android social, Android versions. These are not all the things which are inside our syllabus of AppTech, but still we'll try to manage all the things, okay? Because this is very important. Right now, it's the demanding thing in the market, so it's good for you to have knowledge of it, okay? Yeah. And it's gonna be over demanding always. And in future, you can download or create your own gaming application and you will get more money. Hopefully. Okay, then, yeah, <laughs> inshallah, hopefully. You no, know, always just research. I suggest you start researching about the market value and start what will be the future technology and start working on that. Yeah. We were not having the resources, but you do have. When I was like you, I was not having totally the resources. You know, even I was not known to computers more like you do right now. Basically, mm -hmm. we have, I was learning in Kashmir and over there we used to have limited internet connection. Even right now, we used to have no devices over there. We are living in old age era over there, okay? So, but for you guys who are here, that's what I'm telling you. You are having all the resources. Find out, start learning, get a very good, you know, job in a big company like IBM, Amazon, Microsoft, where oh, you can, you know, not over yeah. here, uh, Amazon in Dublin, Amazon in US, Amazon in UK. 
If you are mm -hmm. skilled, you will get a job very easily in any country on this world. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's enough for today. So I'm going to stop it here and I am going.